Hi everybody, it's Mark from uh, Northeast Bass Fishing and I want to introduce you guys to a new company that I've become involved with and it's K&W Custom Baits. I just got accepted uh, a little while ago to their pro staff so I made an order, um, my first order from them uh, to try out some of their baits and uh, I'll let me show you what I got. Um, like there's the logo, let me show you that right, this is a sticker they sent me. There's a logo there, it's an order form. And here's a packaging order. I opened a couple things up already. Making everything upside down on one side and <laughs> right side up on the other. But what I got is, what I'll do is I'll just go through the packaging list and show you what I got. Um, first thing on the list is the driver jigs. And what these are, I've shown you these type of screw head swim bait hooks. And I already have, I have this one already rigged up because uh, I want to throw it this week uh, on a, and this is just a divine swim bait, a six cents divine swim bait, a 3.3. And I forgot the color. If you really care, it's bait juice. And these are three point. I said three point three. These are three point two. And I just picked that one. Uh, you know, this is this is a. I think they're three sixty. Yeah, three sixteen ounce head. And this is the yellow color. And I'll show you the ones I have. Um, the first one on the list is the uh, blaze orange. And it's a two pack you get. Um, 316 ounce uh, and uh, blaze orange. You can see the screw head there. Uh, let's see. Brown was the second one on the list. See how it is in the package. Here's your brown swim bait head. And I say swim bait head. You could use it, do it for use it for anything really. I just like to use it for swim baits. There's the chrome one. It's unpainted. Uh, Galaxy blue. This is really cool. Let's check that one out. Here's your galaxy blue. Uh, pink. There's the pink ones. You know I like pink for like a bed fishing time, dirty water. It really shows well in the water. There's your pink, pink head, screw on head. Uh, the yellow one I showed you, I have them out because I rigged that one up. Here's the other one so you can get a good you know, look at it close up. I've shown you these type of screw type heads before, um, and I like these for those small swim baits because it really keeps them on there. You don't have to glue them. I don't like putting glue on my baits if I don't have to. So that's the other yellow one that I had on that divine swim head. And the watermelon. Here's the watermelon ones. Got two of those. And the red buck. There you go. So I got some of those. Uh, so those are the driver heads. 3 16 ounce. I like that small 3 16 ounce size for these small swim baits. Um, let's see. Um, some more of the swim bait type heads I got were I got two of their underspins. And let me make sure. This is a white and chartreuse. And I already have one rigged up here somewhere. Here it is. And this is the other one. This is the, the, uh, the red bug, you know, with the clear with that purple on there. And this is like. This is the, the the next size up in that divine. This is a three eight. This is the three point or uh, three point eight inch. Then you just run it up through there. It's got a nice. You can see on the white one. It's got a nice bait keeper on there. That's what it looks like without a bait. There it is with the bait. And these are eighth ounce. So you think eighth ounce is very light, but yeah, when you put that bait on there too, you know, it's got some bulk to it. And I throw these on a spinning rod, 8 pound, 10 pound floral. Like here's this white one, and this is just a, uh, this is a, one of my favorite colors for tech baits. This is just their paddle tail swim bait. I'm going to put that on this white one, I think it'll look, be a nice, uh... and when you rig these on, you just keep it right in the middle. Just cinch it up through there. As you go up to about the middle of the bait, and just make sure you keep come out straight on the back there. See how straight I did it the first time through? Not too bad. There's a nice combo for you. That underspin, that tech paddle, sweet. I might readjust that just so it's a little further up on the hook there, but it's not too bad actually. That's one of my favorite tech bait colors right there. Um, the other swim bait head I got. This is their custom swim bait head. This one has the double um, 
bait keeper on it. What I do is I kind of move, I kind of bend these down a little bit so they're even with the hook when I cinch it on there, just so that you know you don't you know tear it up too much on these uh, bait keepers. But I did uh, this is one of those um, Straight King uh, caffeine shad swim baits. You see, I got on there. You can kind of see the where those keepers kind of hold that on on top there. It sits nice right in there. So I'm going to try some different swim baits and see what, you know, uh, combo I like best with these. Nice stout hook. And these I think are, these I think are quarter ounce. Yeah, quarter ounce. So that's the, um, the watermelon with that clear purple. I got two of those. Um, I got the red bug with the clear purple and accent in there. I got two of those. And this is their custom swim bait. Um, I got the short, the white. So the chartreuse eyeballs on it. Should be good. Put two of those. I'm going to play around with different, you know, swim baits to see which one I like to pair with that the best. And, of course, i got to get two pink ones. i got two of those. There you go. So that's the custom swim bait head. Quarter ounces. And I think that's it for, like, terminal tackle type stuff. And, the, and you know i got to get some jigs. That's what kind of attracted me to K&W because I do, I am a jig fisherman. I love throwing jigs. And whenever I see a company that makes the jigs, I always like to check out their style and see how I like their style of jigs because I do make a lot of my own, but I like to see how other people make theirs too. So I got some of their, uh, uh, some of their uh, searcher jigs and let me just make sure I get the colors right here. This is the watermelon candy. Make sure I got that. Make sure I don't mix them up. So I got two. These are half ounce jigs that I got. So nice stand-up type head here. This should stand up nice on the bottom. And then you can put whatever trailer you like. I probably will, I'm just kind of looking eyeball on this here. I just got these a couple days ago, so I haven't had a chance to throw them yet. I will probably add my rattle strap here, and put rattles on, because I do like rattles on my jigs, as I've talked about in other videos. And then I'll just put like, you know, I like to use the, uh, the Tech Bait Slay Cray. And I do, did cut one of the segments off. So this would probably match pretty good with this one. So this is now, this is without a rattle. I'll probably add a rattle because then I'll still, I'll still be able to, that bait keeper there will still have enough bite to it to keep my bait on. I'm just going to run that through and see how it looks on there. I haven't done this yet with this one. But just run that craw trailer through. It fits pretty good, actually. Actually, not too bad. So there's your... K&W Custom Bait Searcher Jig, Watermelon Candy, with a Slay Cray trailer. Nice combo. And like I said, I may add a, uh, you know, I'll probably add a, a rattle to that. Because I do like to have that rattle in there. And a lot of times, if you don't want to put the rattle strap on the rattles, you can just take those little tiny rattles, those pointy nose rattles. I don't know if they have a name. You can just stick them in the plastic. You can do that too. Um, if you have a bulky enough plastic, <clears throat> to give you a little rattle if you want it. But I like to have a rattle. Sometimes you don't need it, but I always like to have it, but... Even without the half ounce jig plus that trailer, you know, it's got some good bulk to it. So that's it. That's the watermelon candy half ounce jig, searcher jig with a slay cray on there. Um, so I got two of them, two of the watermelon candies. Uh, let's see. The next one on the list was the brown craw. Got a couple of those. See the brown craw jig. A good look at that. And I got two of those. So I've got two of the brown crawls, all in half ounce. I make a lot of three eighths ounce jigs, so I figured let me uh, let me get some uh, some half ounces. Uh, this is their burnt crawl color. Make sure I'm not mixing up my colors here. So I got two of those. This is their burnt crawl. So I kind of like I like that skirt. I love these you know greens and browns and oranges. That's that's my favorite jigs to throw. You know, a lot of people like black blue, which I do throw, but a lot of times I like these natural browns and greens and, and oranges in there. But that's a really nice looking jig right there. Got two of those. Uh, let's see. And the last two searcher jigs I got was the peanut butter and jelly. Got two of those. Now you guys know what peanut butter and jelly. You gotta have some purple on there. So got some PB and J. Two of those. And the last one is the Minnesota Bluegill. So, 
let's see how the Minnesota bluegill color works in New Jersey. <laughs> or New York or Connecticut, wherever I wind up fishing. But that's really nice with that blue in there. Can't tell what else is in there. It's like a green pumpkin. Watermelon. Nice though. I like that head. It's a little different. I'm used to that arky style head. This is more of a, a stand-up type head. So this will probably sit on the bottom very nicely. You know, with your, your claw up in there or cork, whatever you're using. But there you go. That's the Minnesota Bluegill Searcher Jig, half ounce. So nice stuff. So uh, like I said, uh, I'm happy to be part of the um, k and uh, Custom Baits uh, Pro Staff. Um, you know, I love, you know, working with these, you know, these companies that uh, online that are looking for help and uh, to, you know, to promote the company and show it around the country and, uh, you know, get the interest up. So, you know, these guys are, have been nice and, uh, you know, set me up and sent me some nice baits here to try out. And um, I hope to, you know, get some pictures out soon of some fish catches with them. Um, hopefully we'll get out, uh, get out soon, maybe tomorrow and, uh, and do some fishing and catch some fish on those jigs and, or those swim bait heads. So, uh, that's it. So it's K and W Custom Baits, and I'll put the uh, the link in the description. Um, so you guys can go to the website, search around, see if there's some stuff you like, and, and do some shopping. Uh, so nice jigs, nice swim bait heads. Uh, these are gonna these are really gonna be uh, be put to use here as as fall comes. We start slow rolling these uh, little little swim baits around. The fish are hanging around in deeper water or suspended. So that's it guys, so like I said, K&W Custom Baits. I'll, like I said, I'll put the link there and you guys can, can search around and, 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 and happy shopping. And if, and if you do well with them, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll share it with the guys at K&W, okay? So um, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.